Whenever you listen to the media, when you're like on the doomer path or something, you're going to just get deeper into the path. You're going to completely get fucked over. Like the best way to get stuck in and become one of those people where, you know, I've worked, you know, plug jobs. And let's say you, you, you meet someone at the plug job and they're like 40 and they're stuck at the job and they're not happy and they don't have anything set up, no family, no one who really cares about them. They could have died and no one would care. I've known, like I've worked jobs where you had someone who worked at the company and they died. And they had no family, very few friends, and they were a good, nice person, but nobody gave a shit. And I think that's like a perfect example of like, if you really listen to the media, no holds barred, and just like become a complete NPC in regards to everything, you are going to completely become that. I'm just saying. Uh, one of the most important things in life is you always have to kind of remember like the quiet part, as in the, you have to really just look after your own best interests. At the end of the day, this is something that's important. You need to look at the world, at least in my opinion, as like a game, you know, if you died, everyone is going to keep living life, right? And so with that in mind, you should probably think the opposite as well. If someone else died, you have to keep living your life too. And so with that in mind, you have to kind of enjoy your, your perspective and look at things from what's in it for me, you know? And I mean this in regards to anything, even in terms of like politics and shit. Like if you're talking to someone, you might as well just agree with them on whatever and not even waste your time on getting into the principles of it. Because again, in that sense, you want to play to you know someone to get what you want at the end of the day. It's as simple as that. I'm not saying you have to lie, but I am saying you have to, you know, especially in regards to certain issues, never get super emotional with this. We have all of these world events that are going on right now. And a lot of people are getting incredibly emotional to it. And some people are just so, getting so devoted to this or that side, et cetera, et cetera. It's not a necessarily a good idea to do that because at the end of the day, you have to focus on what's in it for you. When, another thing that's important as well is that you need to enjoy the fact of chaos. You know, with COVID, you could have made so much fucking money with COVID, you know? Um, there was so many, like, there was like, at least in Canada, they were just effectively giving away money, especially if you're a pleb and making no money. You were just making thousands of dollars, more or less. They're giving thousands of dollars a month and you could have just played Xbox the whole fucking time. And then you could have put it into the stocks or cryptos or whatever and just chilled. Like, just imagine that. And then in addition to that, also, if you didn't listen to the media and they were just trying to get you to panic like a bitch, oh my God, I'm going to die. I mean, considering, let's say you're a young person, why the fuck should you care? Like, you go outside, you're going to have a chill time, you know? Like, even in regards to, like, even in, like, the evil sense, like, let's say you had it and you went out. Like, at the end of the day, like, there's this whole freaking boomer versus young person sort of thing going on. You know, a lot of people are set up with properties. They're set up with wealth, whereas the young people are freaking competing for shitty apartments, trying to get their credit scores up so they can find a one-bedroom shitty-ass apartment owned by some prick boomer rando, you know? And so, like, in terms of COVID, why the fuck do you care about the prick boomer? Like, you know, if they died, you know, whatever, you know? I'm not saying, like, you, you become sadistic with it, but in that sense, like, with COVID, why the fuck should you have cared about anything? You should have just enjoyed your life, you know what I mean? And it's this, it, with the media, they're trying to spook the shit out of you, you know what I mean? In, in terms of that, even at the same time after COVID, you had the whole GameStop thing, was it? I think it was after COVID, where you had this whole thing where, like, everyone was competing, and I remember the media was bitching and complaining well yes but a lot of people have the retirements in these hedge funds and the fact that we have all of these you know uh, retail investors who are playing with the markets playing with people's retirements it really doesn't seem right you really should have told them to fuck off like at the end of the day you do what you want to do for you right and so if you had listened to the media you listen to like pricks like jim kramer who you know is writing all of these books on stocks i read their books his books their pieces of shit honestly he's more or less trying to get you to trade like a fucking monkey and then you end up with no money because you end up watching a show you could easily make more money probably just investing in the s p 500 you just put the money in this index fund and chill like legit instead of listening to this freaking guy who talks like a cokehead and so anyways this jim kramer dude was like oh well i don't know about this gamestop thing oh well he was like he he knew like that what his audience wanted to hear but he couldn't play to it because again the media is it's always like some sort of freaking narrative or some shit and so anyways yeah, like, again, like, it's the same sort of shit. Another thing that I've also noticed in regards to the media is they also teach you to, like, be a real fucking pussy. I remember uh, a couple years ago, <laughs> I was dating this super cute girl, and I was a fucking pussy with her. I was such, I was like, hey, uh, do I, can I, do I have permission to kiss you? Like, is it okay if I kiss you? And I did that every single time I kissed her. Like, can you freaking imagine? She got so fucking annoyed. She was like, hey, stop asking every time you kiss me just freaking do it she was so fucking turned off because i was such a little bitch 
And it's one of those sorts of things where like the media, I remember like there's all these videos and what's it called, like, you know, news sorts of things on this, like, oh, I just like a sensitive guy who does this in a sense. No, you, you say what you want, but that's not what you freaking really want. I think I also, one of the things I also learned from the Discord server as well, in terms of social experiments is I would just act like a psycho sometimes. I would just do it. You know, just what, what's going to, what are people going to react? And I found that most people, especially if you kind of toned it to a certain level, you don't go too crazy, but you kind of have fun with it. People actually liked it more when I was a psycho than when if I was just a normal person. You know what I mean? Because people would engage with you more because you became more interesting. And so my point is, with the media, they kind of try to train you to be this like super controlled little bitch who's constantly like just trying to check the temperature of everyone else. You want to check the vibe of everyone else. You know what I mean? And that's just not going to work because it's stupid, you know? You can't be somebody who's constantly reacting to other people because then you're going to have no control over the situation. You're going to have no control over your life because other people are just going to direct you on shit. You're going to, you know, it's the same way with family and friends and shit. Like if you were someone who was constantly just trying to gauge the temperature of other people's emotions and how they feel and, you know, oh, I don't want to make you uncomfortable or something like that. If you're one of those sorts of people, you're not going to get shit done. In my own family, I noticed that a whole family turned into a complete piece of shit because nobody had the balls to say, this is stupid, let's just do this. Why the fuck are you doing this? This is retarded. Let's just do this, you know? No, I think, no, I think we're not going to talk to him because he's been going through a lot of issues and we'll just let him deal with it. And then you proceed to not talk to someone for five years because you just want to give them their space and then you have nothing in common with them, you know what I mean? And so anyways, case in point, yeah, like a lot of this like propaganda bullshit is stupid. And in addition to this, one of the interesting things is the media changes their minds every single five or so freaking years. And so you can have like one narrative that's like completely pushed where it's like you want to be a man's man and super tough and shit like that. And then five years later, that's not cool. We see this in regards to like a lot of style shit. Like in the 2000s, it was the complete fucking opposite. If you were unpolitically correct and a complete douche, you would have been just the coolest motherfucker in the entire world. You would have been Chris Angel times fucking 10, Eminem times fucking 10. That's the vibe. In the 2010s, it was a little different. It was a little bit more kind of be a little bit sleazy, you know, chip pickup channels and shit like that. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. But it was about kind of like being into kind of polished but sleazy at the same time. You're listening to EDM. You have a nice car. You're kind of a ladies man in this and that sense. But at the same time, you have some smoothness, some charms to it or whatever. Now, this decade, it's kind of like I don't even fucking know what the vibe is. It's kind of weird, but it's it's kind of more so like uh, what's it called? Very obscure. Like it's more so kind of gauging other people's wavelengths and kind of going with that. And so really, you just want to do what works for you, because if you change every single freaking generation to this shit, you're just going to become a complete fucking basket case. You're going to get nothing done. All right. So we've mentioned finances, right? So they give you investment advice, which really isn't investment advice. They're just trying to make you a controlled cheap. They fucked me over with GME. They said, oh, you sell your GME. I sold my GME and I lost out on hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, well. Um, they try to make you a little bitch in terms of dating, a uh, great way to fuck up relationships. Uh, and they also try to make you uh, an emotional basket pace in a, in a similar sense. And so, yeah, like in, in the last thing I want to focus on as well is how um, the media also wants you to have really shitty taste, especially I'm noticing this with like Disney and a lot of shit. I, I, the first time I ever saw a movie where like it was super popular but it was a piece of shit was when I watched some of these Marvel movies. I saw the Avengers and I saw people were like hyped for this. They're like, oh, there's going to be a part where the Hulk is going to get so freaking angry and do this shit. And I remember I watched the movie and I thought, wow, what a piece of shit. That was horrible. I, that was so boring. It was more just like a couple explosions and shit. Like, am I 10? Like, what do I care about this? And I think I was like 14 at the time. I was like, what the fuck was this? Um, and so anyways, with that in mind, the problem with the media is that like if you really want to enjoy the best shit, you have to kind of look for it. And it's the case for everything in life, really. You know, there's always the surface level shit stuff, which is normie and sh as fuck. But especially like in regards to American media, I feel like a lot of films have become so fucking boring. And that's because they want to appeal to the general audience. They realize that America is more diverse now than ever before. 
And instead of looking at it and saying, okay, we could display a diverse array of perspectives and ideas and cultures, what instead we're going to do is appeal to no, none of that and just release a bunch of sterile bullshit that's not going to offend anyone. And so thus we have superhero movies. And so you end up with some really shitty movies, some horribly boring shit, you know, all of these Disney movies, which are more or less rehashes because Disney doesn't have the balls to release anything new because they don't want to piss off some dumb bitch on Twitter, like God. Um, and so that's something. And then in addition to this, what else? What's el what else is the problem? Oh, there's so many problems. Um, a lot of the music is fucking boring as fuck. You have this the case with like a lot of recent music. It's well, I'm going to age myself. It's not mumble rap, but like you have like Drake and shit like that. Like a lot of the top music now is not even shit that you're going to hear on the radio because like it's like it's too freaking intensive to listen to on the radio. And it's like boring as fuck. It's the same thing. It's inoffensive. It's kind of like, oh, like I'm from the streets, but it's almost like a fucking costume. None of these people are actual gangsters. It's not the fucking 90s. And I'm not even saying that's a good thing. But my point is like, it's all just like sanitized bullshit. Like a lot of this rap music, I would say Katy Perry was probably more fucking vi than them, because at least in her sense, like there is a kind of uh, genuineness to it you know she really was the person behind her songs when you think about it whereas with these rappers they just put on some persona and play it like a freaking child it's stupid and so anyways with that in mind it's the th same thing if you were to go with the, like the pop culture in that sense I, I actually will say like in terms of principles and shit like that maybe you might want to do that just to kind of get to the parties and kind of seem cool because again like what's the point of being super principled with shit you know but at the same time, like, if you really want to enjoy yourself with media, you don't want to fucking go with the freaking, like, stop top stuff in that sense because it's so fucking boring. You will get so freaking depressed if you just listen to that shit. I'm just saying, as a typical pleb, oh my fucking Christ. Like, sure, like, let's say if you're rich and shit and going to parties and vibing to that shit, whatever, what does it matter, you know? It's just the background music to your life. But legit, like, if you're your escape from life, you know, you just had a nine to five shift at Club Mart and you're tired as fuck you got yelled at by some freaking fat bitch or some shit I don't know you know and and so you just have to kind of deal with that and you 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 effectively uh you have to just like be chill with that like so you're, you're gonna chill with some freaking Drake like is that gonna cool you off like that's depressing as fuck that's why actually if you associate like a lot of people associate kind of let's say like people who are depressed even in some cases let's say someone who's like an incel or something like that with like uh, anime or k-pop because they listen to music that's super happy that kind of uh, distances themselves from the situation of life you want to kind of do that in general anyways regardless of your situation whether one is an incel whether they're not an incel whether they're a doomer you know they're experiencing you know a, a circular life I guess that would be the best way to put it um, and so in that sense um, yeah you want to kind of experience a lot and i'm not even saying you just listen to k-pop or some shit like that i mean you want to experience all sorts of different movies and art and film and immerse yourself in that because that's how you enjoy the world right otherwise what's the fucking point you know what i mean you're really just kind of torturing yourself now anyways i think i've uh, pretty much given a general vibe of this the media, for the most part, is pretty bullshit. I wouldn't listen to any of it. You can smile not long, agree with it, just to look nice or whatever. But for the most part, you know in the back of your mind it's mostly bullshit, right? And that's just my advice to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. All the best.